15 months ago and um, I did one then and I left it at home and I had to wing it and I nearly left this one at home but big shout out to my head teacher who brought it from work <laughs> <laughs> so I nearly had a repeat of me just winging it um, it's nice to talk to more than 15 people because last time it was during Covid which meant that we could only have like immediate family and it was, uh, it was lovely in the sense of there was a lot of bad going on and we had something to look forward to. But it always felt like it wasn't finished. So, but my bank hopes it's finished tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, as well as um, having all of our friends here, we've also completed our family. And that is a completed family now. <laughs> there is no one and so we've, we've got our beautiful daughter uh, Esther here with us, and it's. Yeah, <laughs> um, and I'm glad that she gets part of it, and she'll get to look back on pictures, you know, as an adult, and say I, I was actually there for a wedding. But um, we are missing, as Steve mentioned, we are missing someone tonight, and that's my dad. But he was at the first wedding, so like we we we've had that, but we've never really been able to to celebrate him. So I would like, so I would like you all to uh, raise a glass, please, for for my dad who can't be here. So go and raise a glass to Peter, please. <laughs> who would have he he would he love Neil Diamond? So that would be, he, he'd he'd have loved that. Uh, so thank you all for coming. I know a lot of you have travelled a long way and it is really, it is genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, really appreciated. It's cost a lot of you a lot of money to be here it's, and, and a lot of effort in, in times where it's, it's, you know, it's, not, it's not the best time to be having a wedding. But I, I really do appreciate it and I'll try and get round and thank you all tonight. I'd also really like to thank Steve over there uh, for conducting the, the short blessing. He did a fantastic job, yeah. <laughs> A formal ceremony, but we wanted to recognise this as a as a wedding and, and a celebration. And you know, he did a fantastic job. So, if any of you've got any plans to get married anytime soon, <laughs> TV's getting married here. I don't know if there's any more of you, but you know, I'm, he's retired now. I'm sure he's over the morning. Uh, secondly, I'd really like to thank both mine and Laura's parents. And, and it sounds really cliche. You know, couldn't say it couldn't be possible without them, but. It genuinely couldn't have. We've relied on them so much through like childcare and, and the help for this and like last night we set up you know, we relied on them. So I'd like to give a, a big clap for them guys. That's, that's <laughs> and feelings and I'm not I don't talk about them but I'm gonna give it a go so you have to forgive me so Laura you look amazing every day but today you've blown me away after giving birth to Essie six months ago like Laura has had such a determination and will to get down to the side shows at the wedding but to put that into context I'm not in my original wedding suit. <laughs> this is a new suit because I couldn't lose enough weight to get back into it and she's had a baby. <laughs> like, it is 
It's, it's been like when I've been sat there Saturday and I've said, go on, have a pint with me. I said, no, I'm not. And I'm sat there with pork scratchings and Pringles <laughs> and, and I'm like, it's Saturday. Calories don't count on a Saturday. And, and she's, she's been so determined and uh, I think she's done amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a lot of you, some of you might know, but what a lot of you might not know is that when I first met Laura, we were working together at school and we went on a night out. And I think I just finished working there, but we went on a night out and there was something about Laura and I couldn't put my finger on it. And in the middle of bed, <laughs> 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 all that less about that. <laughs> and and we, we hadn't kissed, we hadn't talked, there was nothing like that. And in the middle of Bentley's dance floor, for those of you that remember, I got down on one knee and I proposed to Laura. And this is seven years ago. And she said no. <laughs> and then she asked me to buy her a Jack Daniels and Coke. And then made it a double at the bar. And I said at the bar then, to her friends, I said, one day I will marry that girl. And that was seven years ago. And there's been so many ups and downs since then. But, but throughout, it all, throughout it all, Laura's been my best friend. She has been my wife, my soulmate. She, she's, she's been my worst enemy. But I couldn't ask for a better mum to our children. And I also couldn't ask for a better wife. Like, she knows everything about me, and she still likes me. <laughs> and I, I, I come across okay, but I am a nightmare. <laughs> I, uh, and, and, and she still loves me. And, like, she really loves me. <laughs> and when I lost my dad, like, she was my rock. I was, I really struggled. And, um, just, she just got on and she, and she, she kept me going and I, I couldn't have got through without her. Sorry. So we've been through a lot um, and, and she never gave up on me and whatever's happened we've always come back stronger. So Laura, this is to you. You are my world. Cheers Milo. <laughs> and I would be lost without you. I'm so grateful for everything you do for me and the children. And like, honestly, I couldn't cope. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Like, she, she's easy, but I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Uh, I wouldn't change anything about our lives together. As in you, with you, I met my soulmate, and every day I need to wonder what I've done to deserve someone just like you. So I would like you all to be upstanding and raise a glass to Laura, my beautiful wife. Laura. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.